Welcome to Sabbath Moments, short spiritual exercises for your week. For the next three weeks, we'll be looking at the Psalms, reflecting on the words that bring us into recognizing God in our everyday lives. This week's Psalm 121 reminds us from where our help comes. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Marnie Wasserman, in her new collection of poetry called A Thousand Gratitudes, has a poem called Hands Lifted, in which she writes, Open hands, held out, hide no weapon. They embody peace in a violent and untrusting world. They also embody Shabbat, holy uselessness, in a world of relentless work and unrest. Today we enter this present moment with hands held out, eyes lifted upward. Our help comes from Yahweh, God of creation, God of healing, God of understanding. As we begin to consider next steps in the unknown world of returning to the new normal, when the pandemic begins to ease with vaccines, it will be normal to have questions, to wonder how we can climb out of seclusion that we not only have grown accustomed to, but may also not want to leave so quickly. We may want to embody a little longer Shabbat, or as Marnie calls it, holy uselessness. Light a candle. Find a place to sit comfortably, feet resting on the earth, hands on your thighs, perhaps palms up to indicate your acceptance of the Spirit's presence. Breathe in deeply. Exhale all the worries and distracting thoughts. Again, breathe in the divine breath of God. And in the exhale, relax completely. Rest your mind in a state of openness, of stillness, with eyes closed or gazing downward. Connect with how you are feeling at this moment. Ask the question, what help do I need? Perhaps you would like to lift your open hands even higher. Release your unrest to the Holy One. Stay in this moment of stillness, hearing what the Divine has to teach you.
yourself back to the present. Gently, remember the wonder of this moment in stillness, in seeking help. Perhaps you would like to write down in your journal or notebook some of the thoughts that came from today's Sabbath moments. Next Thursday, I hope you will want to join me for another Sabbath moment. Until then, practice a time of stillness each day when you simply spend time sharing with the divine your need for help. Be well. May you find in the stillness help and hope and love.